Oh, it's oh, okay. Hello, 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 <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello, and welcome back to Warped, the completely unnecessary Star Trek podcast, where we provide live audio commentary tracks to Star Trek to Next Generation episodes. My name is Matt. I'm Sean. I'm Jake. Aaron. Hey. <laughs> We're watching next season three, episode 18, Allegiance. Sean punched the triangle. I got 45 minutes and 47 seconds on the clock, and I'm punching the triangle in three, two, one, punch. Hmm. Yeah. You guys have watched this episode? Uh, those, or those who have, is it, uh, is it good? You, oh, it's already good. Come on, like this. <laughs> it's it's lounge, so fun. But like... it's not in loungewear. <laughs> yeah, well... In my a mind. couple of weeks, we talked about the number of hobbies <laughs> that Picard has. And then our episode we recently released, we talked about the fact that he liked ships and bottles. Mm-hmm. But that was not one of the things we talked about when we listed off his wow. hobbies. So there's another hobby of his. Renaissance man. Uh, he looks what? comfy. What is this? What is this? What? That's the thing that took him away. <laughs> it was in the description, man. Jesus Christ. Well, I, I was looking at the, I was like, uh, I thought it was part of the furniture at first, but then no, it was a foreign entity that wasn't a cloud. They definitely gave it substance and form. <laughs> kind of like a, it was a floating like monolith from. Yeah, right? Yep. It was by the same guy who designed the uh, pipe and ball. Oh, yeah. The... Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the, the, old, the old pipe and ball. Pipe and ball. Oh, wait. Uh, what is the one heck? One. Wasn't there a Josh so... Whedon show like this? Um, al- alias? I don't know. <laughs> it's not Josh. You're talking about... <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, welcome to my game show. What uh, what actor am I talking about? <laughs> uh, I'm honestly trying to figure out what you're thinking about. I can't. I Alias? don't have is it. Not Alias? Uh, no, 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 no. Alias is J.J. Abrams, not yeah, just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what who I meant. I don't remember Alias having a bunch of beds in a room. Uh, she was a. Uh, Spy? Was she a spy? She was. Okay, okay, okay. I got that part at least. Well, bring us in, Sean. Let's bring move along. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're watching season three, episode eighteen, Allegiance. Original air date March twenty fourth, nineteen ninety. Picard is kidnapped and held with three different aliens, and meanwhile replaced with a replica as imposter captain, Aaron. I assume you did not watch the episode. No. What do you think the IMDb rating is? Ooh, let's say a 7.9. All right, May, you watch the episode? Yes, and I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> do it. I have... Uh, Some feelings. I believe overall episode 7, but... Doppelganger Picard, seven seven. <laughs> ah, gotcha. Okay, Ooh. I read you. Old trustees, right there. All right. Anybody else? I think it's pretty good, considering. I th- I'll give it a seven point two. Hmm. Matt Min. I get seven five. Seven five. Oh, nice. On the nose. Ding, 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 ding. Nice. Were you going to say that, Matt? Did I steal your number? I'm sorry. (laughs) No, I didn't have a number. (laughs) Okay. Nice. I hate it when uh, Jacob always steals your number. It feels like you're always robbed. (laughs) Old number stealing Jacob. (laughs) There we go. Well. Old number stealing Jacob. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) Can't trust him. He's just uh, you can't turn your back on Stephen Markle. Mm-hmm. Ma- <laughs> <laughs> Megan Markle's dad. <laughs> <laughs> this is the same joke I made when I watched this the first time. Nice. It's worked for me twice. Look how many rectors are on this show. Oh, 
Rector. <laughs> Wait, was this the alien face that you guys were texting about and you were like, oh, Aaron is not going to like this? Oh, no, just wait. No, this, not this oh, one. No? This is tame <laughs> compared to Ooh. what's the oh, yeah, this, this is a lovable. Is that guy? <laughs> oh, yeah, that guy. <laughs> okay. Soul. It's like Cole they don't Cole. have Botox in space. You don't get the real this this episode really builds to a a reveal uh and when you see those aliens you're really going to get something. I'm going to toss my cookies. <laughs> is wait, is that that's a good thing or a bad thing, Aaron? Tossing your cookies? Not a good thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, generally bad. Uh and then the third alien uh but He's not there yet. We're gonna play some good FMK. <laughs> yeah, when the third guy shows up. This this second dude is like not that far removed from the Night King, right? He's got like that weird, those weird. I like the little. Paint. I like the hoodie he wears. Personally, mm -hmm. I think it's got a good look to it. He kind of looks like Eminem <laughs> in, in Eight Mile. Mm hmm. <laughs> I just think of a clitoris when you instead know, of with... instead of gelatinous cubes for food, <laughs> yes, they get gel gelatinous uh, little cylinders, hockey little hockey 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 hockey. <laughs> big gummy vitamins. <laughs> well, they the, they can be Flintstones kids. <laughs> the 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 woman race looks like they were like assembled in a in a factory in a mold. <laughs> you still see, see the flash lines. Yeah. Welded together. Yeah. Were you a model maker? She's Jacob? a she's a Bolian, by the way. Bolian is the name of her. We'll see other Bolians in the show. She's oh. one of the rare Bolians that has hair. Most of them are bald. Oh. I think is the guy the... who cuts the I think the guy who cuts hair on the ship is a Bolian. Mm. The ship the Enterprise's barber. When we see <laughs> when, that guy. when does he come on? I don't we haven't seen him yet. No, we so. haven't seen him yet, but yeah. we will. There's you know, an episode get... that there's an episode where uh, uh, Jean Luc gets his hair cut, and the barber <laughs> on the episode. The I know it like... sounds like I'm making this up. <laughs> I swear to God, it's real. But you gotta, you gotta think about it. In seven sure. seasons, you're like sitting in a room. You're like, we need him to be doing not... something. What has he never done before? Right. Send him to the hairstylist. Why not? I, I should have said it's about him getting a haircut. That's not what the episode's about. Yeah, right. It happens, but it's not what it's about. <laughs> the card gets a haircut. This. So week. when you see the barber, it's it's one of those blue, one of those blue bolians. Oh. I would love a whole episode about um, uh, Picard getting his hair cut. That's a, like a slice of life. I'd watch a whole show about the barber, frankly. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> give me the barber. Star Trek bully and barber. Trek. Uh, are you imagining more like a Japanese terrace house or more like a, a Tyler Perry Medea barber? No, it's when you see the barber shop, it looks like a barber shop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like a salon. It looks like a barber shop. Probably. Star Trek, you know, Star Trek -y version. Yeah. <laughs> the smocks are shiny. Yeah, they, you, yeah, everything's shiny because it's they're yeah. dropping, right? So Worf is like Picard's acting a little weird. What the fuck's going on with that guy? Yeah, I forgot. There's. He's yeah, so this is. Okay, Picard. so you want a quick plot summary, man? Yeah, Do you need please. a quick summary? Aaron would like one too. So, Picard got kidnapped, and real Picard is in that room with the aliens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they've done a good job. Whoever's responsible for doing it has put this fake Picard on the ship. Mm. And fake Picard is acting a little out of character mm. from the Picard we all know and love. How he's more militaristic? More well, intense. he's sort of giving orders that don't make sense. Like he tells them to change course and and start flying somewhere else than where they're supposed to be going, and he won't explain himself. The big thing is that he doesn't. He becomes very sort of authoritarian, where he just tells people what to do, and at least by this point in the series, we know that real Picard likes to get collaboration and get you know build. He's a consensus builder. Mm. So it's out of character for this version of Picard to be he's more like season one Picard, where season one Picard just kind of bossed people around. Mm. But now by this point in the show, we've got sort of cuddly sweet Picard. 
So fake Picard up on the bridge is uh, giving these weird orders and even weirder not bothering to explain them. And he just told Riker in that scene in the ready room, he says, look, I've gotten some secret orders from Starfleet. I can't tell you what they are. So for now, you're just going to have to trust me. Mm-hmm. And and Riker's like, well, of course, we'll trust you, you know, Captain. Mm-hmm. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Um, so for now, they've all agreed to just sort of like, we're going to do what the Captain says. But as we will see, his orders get weirder and weirder and they start to get a little bit more suspicious about what's these aliens card is in this room with this starfleet cadet and this the the alien the alien in the hoodie i hadn't even realized she was starfleet yeah Yeah, well she's wearing a starfleet Mm -hmm. uniform it was the first clue (laughs) yes you're right and she called him captain Uh, they're, they're, the alien outfits are really well done. The makeup is really, really well done, I think. This episode, I I think I read it, Sean, in the trivia uh, on Memory Alpha. I think this episode got an Emmy for Best Makeup or was nominated for Best Makeup. Oh. It's certainly a lot of makeup in this episode. Yeah. There's a lot of different aliens in this episode. It's Emmy for Most Makeup Used. <laughs> well done. Most, it's well done, too. Volume. Yeah. Right. His yeah, headdress he good. He looks is like very a um, alien. Yeah, his headdress is very Sydney Opera House. If you see it from the side, yeah, yeah. red. It's cool. And I like how her wig is parted so that her her uh, her Uh-oh. half slit goes up through. Up All through. right, here we go. Uh-oh. Another alien. Here's our third oh, in the whoa, 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 whoa. Here's old Jesus. Fang Tooth. <laughs> yeah, we know where Sean's gonna uh, boat. And that's his uh, M uh, right, right got there. It. FMK. <laughs> I, I don't I... think for a while. Uh, we haven't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or... Wait, before we play FMK, Aaron, quick, what's your first reaction to Fang <laughs> 2? <laughs> <laughs> He's actually kind of cool looking. Yeah. I like his are teeth. You, are you making out with those I teeth? I have a dog with an underbite. So. <laughs> oh, God, that's true. Aaron's very open, you know. He's. Did you guys get that I was doing a Steve Miller reference in that text yesterday about fang tooths and butthole but faces? <laughs> no, no. You didn't. No. The text said. The text said. Butt mouse to the left of me, fang tooths to the oh, right. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Here I am weird. stuck on this podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah I got I'd forgotten that that's what you wrote, but yeah, I got it. Nice. Oh, poker I was game. like, should I put little music emojis in this text <laughs> so that they know it's a song? <laughs> We've all seen River Reservoir Dogs. So this is a, well, it wasn't that I, you wouldn't know the song. I just wasn't sure if you would get that that's what I was doing. Uh, so this is another thing that's never happened. Like Picard never goes into their poker game. Like, he doesn't he doesn't feel like he fits in with them in their poker game like so this is the first time we've ever seen him in the poker game and we'll only see him ever do it one more time in the very last episode yeah Sean did you have that in your IMDB trivia which one that about him being there at the poker game? At the poker game. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's in the, the last episode of this uh, this show or the last of this episode? Show. Oh. Very last episode of this show. He yep. plays poker with it's a very yep. sweet moment. Yeah. Do you think they would ever like uh, uh, do it in like the new uh, Picard, like just a flashback to it? Or do you think like that's that's the done? First, He's in a the, different. The first scene of Picard is a sort of it's dream sequence game. of him playing poker with Data. With Data, that's right. Okay. Ah. Oh, that's cute. They did do that. Yeah, they did. Mm. Oh, now he's trying to get a beat. Imposter Picard's trying to get a beat on things with Troy. Wait. Yeah, he's like, hey, Troy, uh, is anyone concerned well, about not behaving? <laughs> and if anyone does, like, can you let me know? She's, she's like, no. well... No one was concerned until you asked me that question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> now, I'm a little concerned that you yeah. asked. Yeah. yeah, it's it would be weird if someone came, <laughs> someone you knew came up to you and was like, uh, "Has anybody ever s- implied to you that I might be a serial killer?" <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, it's that kind of level of weird. Like, yeah. yeah, I was watching. Be like, the not hour. until you asked me the question has no. it occurred to me to right? wonder. Yeah. I was watching a Forty Eight Hours yesterday, and. There's basically a lady who killed her husband or was suspected, and she allowed the cops to search her property, but she said, except for that box of <laughs> <laughs> Guess where her husband was? <laughs> uh, you can look at anything you want except that, that, that box. I didn't give you I permission. Mean, that's, that's some so black it was, beard. It was some black beard shit. Go anywhere you want in the house. Just don't go in that. Yeah. Yeah. Don't go in that room. That's where I yeah, keep my dead X Y. Over there, don't go in that lockbox. <laughs> oh, it was great. I don't think I can do an FMK on this trio. I I I don't even know anything about them. You, I would just you, be. You have to. That we don't no. play the game because it's easy. We play it because it's hard. Yeah. And that's. Well, I need to know what's going on inside his mouth. I yeah. see a lot of outside. <laughs> Does he have to get a look inside? There's a lot of Aaron, things to how, play. How are you going to get past the outside? I know you can't. You can't. It'd be hard. They don't. They That'd don't be... kiss on the mouth in their race. Yeah. It's like I'm curious for F, but I feel like it would be painful. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're you're trying to uh, uh, go to town on the uh, space fork. <laughs> I'm yeah. curious about F too. Now that you put it in my head. <laughs> no. <laughs> Right? No. This is not Beauty and the Beast. I kind of, you know what? I kind of had him automatically filed into K, but you've started to swing the <laughs> no, needle no, a little no. bit. I, like, think, I don't know if it's because he's got more warm tones. The other two are kind of gray and dead looking colors. <laughs> he just has more passion going on. Yeah, yeah you're starting to sway me. I'm starting <laughs> yeah. to be convinced. Yeah, I think he's F. Wait, wait, now here's a question. If you marry them, can you not kill them later? Is that like disallowed? Um, not according to 48 hours. <laughs> okay. Don't look in the box. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Half of the box was really like, closed it... properly, so they like could tell because there was like bugs coming out of the box or like um yeah. Anyway. So it wasn't just don't look in the box. It was don't look in the suspicious box. <laughs> God, what? Just smelly, rotten. Smells and vermin out of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was pretty crazy. I mean, he is pretty passionate. He's got some good moves. Yeah. yeah. So you yeah. feel like it was fun? Fuck that guy. You marry the bully and you yeah, kill. Yeah, kill the guy in the hoodie. He just seems kind of like in the hoodie. No. 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 Oh, I disagree. Already. Oh, the guy Sean, in the hoodie hate, is you, who you marry. I hate disagreeing with you. You marry this. that guy? Yeah. You marry that guy? Yeah, he's guess? nice. Yeah. He's a little weasel. He's, he's too passive. Yeah. He also makes me yeah, think. Yeah, that's what I like in a person, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you you, you yeah. like an ornament. <laughs> <laughs> I like being. You'd be your trophy alien husband. <laughs> I like someone who just wants to get along, you know? Yeah. It's like a pet or a cat. I, mean, I don't think you marry the bully, and she's well. Spoiler alert! But she's the baddie. In the- oh, oh okay. Well, she's not really a bully, and you gotta you gotta take her at face value. I associate them with barbers now, and I'm like, well, that's useful. But now. even if you take her as she is, she's still irritating. She's all, <laughs> I'm just a little cute. I'm just a little Starfleet cadet. Blah blah blah. Like, oh, she's irritated. You can't really tell because you can't hear her voice. But- yeah, I was just basing it on looks. This is a good scene, too, because Beverly can tell something's up. She can kind of tell that something might be up with him. Yeah. Because he's being weirdly, he's being weirdly flirty with her, which he hasn't, which he doesn't usually do. Like weirdly flirty and like listening to her. (laughs) Because the red flag is like, oh, you came to me for a checkup when I usually have to like force you to. And here's the right. Thing. Yeah. Right. It's a classic character trait of all Starfleet captains that they hate having to get their physicals taken. Goes all the way back to Kirk. Like it's a running theme. All the captains on Star Trek hate having to go to the doctor. Yeah. So they're all your grandparents and suspicious yeah. doctors. <laughs> 
Well, it's sort of like they're all type A, I'm fine, everything's fine, kind of. It's like it's bureaucracy to have to do that. Yeah. Right. I don't, ha- I don't have time to be sick. Right. It's that kind of thing. We saw that in the one in the time travel one from a couple weeks ago. We saw that even even the captain who came back in time, she was like, I have to get back to my ship. And that's right. Beverly was like, you have to stay here. And she's like, I have a duty to my crew, doctor. I'm leaving. It's a very star fleet captain-y uh, position to take. I am the opposite. Give me that doctor's note. <laughs> <laughs> I can get more sleep. Yeah, we need to keep you under observation for at least three days. Three days? Make it a full week then. Hallelujah. <laughs> I mean, I yeah, this is why none of us room. would be, you know, none of us would hack it in Starfleet. <laughs> One lower, decks, lower decks, baby. baby. <laughs> <laughs> I think even the lower decks people want to be in Starfleet. They still have to go through Starfleet screening. <laughs> you could blast through that shit. Yeah, Matt, Sean, and I were watching Tenet I mean, the other. Think about. You think about that woman whose job on the aircraft carrier was stocking the vending machines. <laughs> Even she had to go to like boot camp, like she had to do basic training, sure. Just just to get a job stocking the vending machines. I'm I'm sure there are some Starfleet people that like spent like seven years at Starfleet, just switching majors. <laughs> All right, nice. Getting real chummy with the TAs. Mm-hmm. Yes. If Boimler can get through basic training. Here we go. Oh, there you go, Aaron. Yeah. Star baby. Trek gods yeah. heard your wish. I like the I like the champagne glasses. It's the future. Yeah. So it's like- is Dr. Crusher gonna be disappointed when he's back? I don't want to give it away. It. Okay. <laughs> oh, out with what that. I was gonna say is I think she looks great. Like yeah. I usually I hate the leisure wear and Jean Luc is wearing his classic deep <laughs> deep V. There are some fans out there, Matt, of the deep D. Well, clearly in the future there's a lot of them because <laughs> it becomes very popular. It's very popular in the twenty third century. Um <laughs> don't at me, nerds. It's the twenty fourth century. I know. I know. Oh, Lord. But I think she looks great. Like that outfit doesn't look like weird or futury at all. It just looks nice. Like very classy. I really like Beverly in this scene. And both she, outfits are very easy. Very easy to slip on and slip off, I think. She's borrowing one of Wesley's sweaters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh god. She just no. pulled the collar down over no. her shoulders. Talking about disturbing imagery. No, please. No, they, they share clothes all the time. Yeah, they're about the same size. They probably would share clothes. I, she's really good in this scene, I thought. I really like her. You know, you can tell that she's into him, but she's also being, you know, she's keeping her she's keeping her guard up still. Well, she knows what's up. She's like, you came to me earlier and you're perfectly fine. Red flag. <laughs> yeah, something's not right. She she wants it, but she doesn't. She knows it's not right. Yeah, she knows well, there's a reason. Be, you know making it if you were me doing the captain is a complicated thing. I don't know if it's worth it. Yeah, right. She's right. She Thank knows. And why would the imposter do this? Uh, wouldn't he want to keep a low profile? Uh, you will find out the reason why they're doing this at the mm-hmm. end. Okay. Does Glad there's tease? a reason. They like redheads. <laughs> it's it's that it's that he's intentionally pushing buttons. Uh, this whole thing turns out to be sorry, spoiler alert again. This whole thing turns out to be kind of a weird sociological experiment where the aliens are basically testing the reactions of the crew. So their their version of Picard is sort of being intentionally provocative, mm-hmm. including, you know, hitting on Beverly. And giving weird contradictory orders to the crew mm. all as a way to sort of test their the crew's responses and oh, see how willing they are to follow the orders of, of a person that they have stopped trusting. Mm. I liked how their wardrobe was, uh, colors were mimicked in the flowers there. Very sweet. Now we can stop watching the episode because I just told you all what happened. Mm. <laughs> No, no, I'm into this moment right here. Yeah, they're smelling each other. Oh, man. Oh, 
Smells Uh-oh. like card. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. yeah, baby. Drink does it count? Started. Does it count if one of you is an alien created? <laughs> yeah. This how is, does consent work here? This is uh, Last Starfighter all over again. Boom! See, she's like, "You're playing games with my heart." Here, dropping '90s pop wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, these lines. Oh, yes, and then he calls it off. Yeah, and I was like, science experiment over. <laughs> well, that's that's good. You know. Look, yeah. see ya. Then he, <laughs> okay, I mean, so... he's a little cold. Yeah, no, he's a total dick. He's like, oh, okay, <laughs> I got what I wanted out of this experiment. You may go. <laughs> that's fucked up. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> Yikes! That's what we that's... call a Beverly Blue Balls right there. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's, that's the first time that we learn where Picard's uh, quarters are on the ship. This is a real nerd alert trivia. Yeah. Moment, but you see on his door that he's on desk, deck nine, cabin 3601 uh-huh. is John Luke's uh, room on the ship. Okay. Just in case you really want to know. Keep that in your log, Aaron. <laughs> Put that in your log of facts. My yes. careful note. Smoke it. I know Adam, that you're being careful, careful notes. Adam with your whoopee and All of these episodes. <laughs> Show the I ridge on that lady's face is getting deeper. Mm-hmm. Mm. Deepening ridge. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah, this alien looks like he's it. totally handmaid's, t- handmaid's tailing it. I think Min's right. I think it looks like the Sydney Opera House. I think <laughs> it's a cool choice. I like it. Well done. You guys want some correction corner? Of oh, course. Yeah. Oh, wow. Could there Treats. possibly be a any? double dip? Check like the jingle. <laughs> this is a this is a short one. This won't take very long. It's episode one fifteen. Justice, Aaron. You'll recall Justice. It's the planet where they were all sexy and just like to have sex and have a good time. And then Wesley falls in a flower bed and gets sentenced to death. <laughs> yeah. Vague memories. Go on. Vague Wes- memories. Wesley steps on a flower. <laughs> yeah. Like the corner. Remember, of my- instead of fucking, he decides to go play ball. Yes, I definitely remember that part. Min, this was at the very beginning of weeks of the uh, lockdown, and it was during that time when there were uh, shortages at the grocery store. Mm. And Min told a story about going to the grocery store and only being able to find cheese, cheese ramen. ramen. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I never got it. Exists. <laughs> which we talked about at the time. We said we should have a new segment on the show, and it was going to be called either Make Min Eat It. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Or shove it in Min's mouth hole. We hadn't quite <laughs> settled. We hadn't Wonderful. quite settled on what we were going to call this new bit. But the bit would be that we would give Min strange things to eat, and he would eat them live on air. Uh, we never actually did that, unfortunately. <laughs> is that the correction? <laughs> no, the correction is you. We told you go out and buy some cheese ramen and and make it, and then eat it during the show, so we can get like your live reaction to it and the correction is you never did that but i did (laughs) (laughs) i ended up eating the cheese ramen it tasted like very soupy watery mac and cheese cheese. it was disgusting yeah (laughs) i i really think we need to revive uh make men eat it because shove it in his mouth hole shove it in in men's you know for our reunion reunion episode we could do we could do it live, right? It's just uh, uh, we're. I have a feeling that uh, cheese ramen is going to bring out the possums, <clears throat> so I'm worried about that. But here's the thing. You know what? I I I want to I want to commend Aaron for this because generally my reaction to possums would be just pure uh, fear and wanting to visit death upon them. But then I came across this uh, this topic on Reddit the other week or something that was like, oh, uh, if you see a possum fall, what are you going to do? And I thought to myself, you know what? I would generally freak out, but I think because Aaron's such a cool person, uh, I think in that instance, I might just let the possums go. Like, 
you know, like, get out of here. You didn't see me. I didn't see you. Just <laughs> fucking. Yeah. Yeah. It would just sort of be like that moment of mercy. That's all they need. They don't need you to hang out with them. They just need you not to kill them. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm, I'm you, you've influenced one person in this world. Aaron. Yay. Yeah. So there you go. That scene, I, when I was watching that scene, I kept thinking, oh, I wish this was a whoopee episode. Because wouldn't you like to see Guinan have to interact with fake Picard? And like, <laughs> she would know he was fake, but she wouldn't be able to prove it. And I just, I was, that whole scene in 10 Forward, I was just like, oh, I wish Whoopi Goldberg was in this yeah. scene, like giving fake Picard like a side eye and just being I'm like, just, I, I think that's the thing. I think she would have undone the game in like an instant. Too she would have been like, okay, who are you really? <laughs> oh, she would have figured it out too soon. Yeah. 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 We'd have no yeah. episode. Are they having a therapy session right now? What's going on? Is this like an intervention? They're, they're, no, they're, not well, there. it's kind of like, they're, they're, they're meeting, they're, they're plotting they're, an they're intervention. Sort of, they're sort of conspiring behind Picard's back because they're like, something is up with Picard. Because he was just singing in 10 Forward, a drinking song. Right. He drank a beer, which Jean Luc does not drink beer, yeah, right? That frosted glass looked good, though, man. I was into it. It looks delicious, but right? that's not Jean Luc's style. Yeah, that's like, not his style. And then he led them all in a like sea shanty. Right? <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like this drunk alien Picard. Uh, uh, He's kind of fun. I think that's why it got the episode got a seven seven, right, me? That's why Doppelganger Picard got seven seven, but mm-hmm. the episode overall seven. Mm-hmm. It is the traditional British song of the official march of their Royal Navy, the Royal Canadian Navy, and the Royal New Zealand Navy. Yeah. The song sings in this episode perfect song to sing for a french guy yeah he's supposed to be french <laughs> <laughs> nobody buys that and but he knows but he been, knows british singing and it's been 300 years since there was british navy right now i forget patrick stewart himself is british yeah yeah <laughs> yeah he's Yes. Well spotted. <laughs> yeah. well, I don't know. I thought I thought for a second he might have been Australian or Canadian because I'm just no, stupid he's like as that. British as they make it. Like okay. there are no more British. Oh, than, I mean, right. Royal Shakespeare it's Company. English, English. Yep. <laughs> that's um, that's why the alien isn't able to like successfully reproduce him. He's not able to repress the parts that are obviously. Um, British about him, so he's immediately <laughs> yeah. like, "I want ale right now. <laughs> I want to sing sheets English sea shanties." And I shall go to the local pub. Uh, we talked about how there are these scientific experiments going on, funded by tech billionaires to try and reduce aging or reverse aging, uh, anti-aging. Yeah, um, Philippe, Philippe was on this episode, and he and I were talking about it, and we couldn't remember. He thought it was one of the Google guys who was like funding this research into anti-aging. I thought, was, I thought it was Peter Thiel. Uh, and Philippe said, well, you can correction corner it later. So here is the correction. It's all of them. Ooh. They all have their pet anti-aging like companies that they've yeah. bought and are funding. Barry Ellison has one, Peter Thiel has one, and both Bryn and Paige have Ooh, uh, yeah. anti-aging companies, venture VC companies that they are funding. So yeah. a, a classic weirdo billionaire <laughs> thing to be trying to do. Mm-hmm. Like let's, let's reverse try. I don't know. There were movies made warning against this whole thing. Uh, they don't care though. Uh, I told a story about getting a ukulele for Christmas. I said, oh, I'll use my pandemic time to practice. <laughs> <laughs> I would like you all to know that I have not touched that ukulele since we recorded that episode. So uh, it's been over a year, and I have not, in fact, practiced at all. Okay. Thank you for sharing that, Matt. Very brave. We appreciate that. <laughs> Now, my question is, have you thought about it and or I have you stressed that. out about it? I, I'm looking at it right now. I Uh-oh, can see it. It's out. it's out in my room. And every day I think about it and every day I don't do it. So there now you does go. It That's what a out? lack of ambition will get to. <laughs> uh, I can't ambition. be bothered to practice my ukulele. <laughs> the problem with I have to have a... Uh, 
deadline. Uh, I need an end goal or a deadline in sight, oh, or right. I have a hard time getting mm-hmm. things. So mm-hmm. I signed up to do, I'm going to do the marathon this year. Sean's mm-hmm. going to do it too. Sean, did you sign up? I have not, but I'll do it this week. Okay. <laughs> it's not, it's like, not real. I had a weird until, week, hey, had a weird week this up. week. So. And then it becomes real. Yeah. Um, I will do it. Because they're doing it in November this year. You know, usually it's in March. So, so now I have a goal. So now I will actually, you know. I will start like running, which I mm-hmm. another thing I did not do at all during the pandemic. Because if I have a goal at the end, then I'll do it. But otherwise, I have a hard time, you know, self motivating. But yeah, marathon in November, you guys. That's exciting. Fun. Have you done any long distance running before? I've done the marathon once before. Oh wow! I didn't know that. Was... Good for you. It's been a long time. It was like 10 years ago. So it's been a while. So that's awesome. So, you know, I guess there's a certain regimen. I don't know much about it. Like, yeah, there's like, there are like training schedules out there that are just like, you know, you start off very easy and, you know, you just sort of build and build. Build Can you give us a, like a rough trajectory of like pre, during, and then post your, your thoughts? You're like, oh, this is awesome. Oh, of the marathon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when I, when I actually did it? Mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. Grand Miles, yeah. It was super, it was, it started great. <laughs> yeah. It started great. I, have, I was like, I was doing fine. I got up to about mile, like, 16 or 17 oh that's pretty far that's a lot of miles no i finished i no. but i got up to like 16 or 17 and then i started having problems with my ankle which i had had kind of throughout the training oh, yeah. I, my right ankle was like giving me so i had like a brace on it and stuff and it was yeah. fine and then like right around mile 17 18 it started to like it was starting to act up and i was like mm. uh-oh you know, because you still got eight more miles yeah. to go at mile 18. So I was like, oh, boy, this is maybe yeah. not good. Yeah. Um, but I managed to finish. I was slower than I wanted to be because sure. I I slowed down a lot. I mean, I basically was almost walking, you know, yeah. by the time Hobbling I along. got to the end. But, but still, uh, I think finishing is amazing. But I finished. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, luckily I didn't do any, like, permanent damage to my <laughs> Uh, Did you get chapped in some interesting places? <laughs> yeah, you have to. There's a lot of like lubing, hey, various. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, you know, you put band aids on your nipples so that your yeah. nipples get <laughs> shaved. I I've That's seen bad. some photos about that. Is that a real thing, or, or is that yeah. just like oh, uh, oh, uh, rubbing yeah. against? Oh you? Yeah, yeah, no, they'll right. start bleeding. No, if what? you don't, you you they will bleed. That's crazy. And Sean, are you are you you're joining Matt this time yes, around, right? I'm yeah. do, I, he gave me the same exercise regiment, so I'm going okay. to do that. And have you done long distance running? Sean? No. I've done a few five Ks. Okay. Cool. Proud of you guys. Good luck. Good luck. I think it'll be fun because the first last time I did it, I did it by myself. Like I didn't have a running buddy or anything. Mm-hmm. So it'd be fun to do it with Sean to have yeah. somebody to, to uh, yeah. run. Spur each other on. Yeah. Sweet. November, eh? At least it should be cool, right? Yeah, the problem is going to be the training because it's going to be so hot this summer. And Mm -hmm. so it's going to be running, like, early in the morning or, like, Mm -hmm. at night when it's Just be careful. Wear, like, shiny stuff. Wear your space clothes. (laughs) Yeah. I have one more correction. Sean, do Mm -hmm. you remember talking about the... The che- the the cold open of Cheers, where the guy comes in and tells Sam, "Hey, I got a job. I work in this like chemical lab yes. where uh-huh. we work on all these like weird microbes and shit." Oh, and then he leaves the bar, it, and quick. as soon as they do, he does the everybody like frantically cleans the bar because they're afraid this guy is like carrying a plague. It was because the pandemic had just started, is why right. we were talking about. And you had said that they use that same cold open more than once. Uh, um, in, hold in, up. on episode Cheers. <laughs> Wait, yeah, yeah. Okay, here's butt face. <laughs> well, these aren't really butt faces, but this Wowie. is what I was thinking of. Oh, these are the aliens I was... This is the big revelation right here. Feast your eyes on these motherfuckers. Wow, I like their outfits, too. They're just... It's just a lot to take in. 
It's the chin. It's I like that you got the front of one. You got the profile going. <laughs> it's like somebody said, we can't just give them one thing. We have to give them all the things. All the things. <laughs> They've got the pointy yeah. ears. They've got it all. What was that sitcom with the dinosaurs? That's what it it's makes called me dinosaurs. think of. Dinosaurs. dinosaurs. Oh, was that it? <laughs> just dinosaurs. Really? Wow. You, got, you nailed it. Uh, nailed it but, in one, man. <laughs> <laughs> but they've got like a funky disco outfit. I, you yeah. know, I mean, interesting. They need to do the uh, electric boogaloo. So what this was was a sort of two pronged experiment where one guy, when they put this fake Picard up on the bridge to see how these guys would react to being given shitty orders. Mm -hmm. And then the other part was Picard, the real Picard down on the planet trying to figure out who the baddie was and he figured it out it was the it was the girl it was the cadet can i say those aliens there. got some some pretty like plump booties you got some badonk <laughs> a little no it's not like major badonk donk but it's a little yeah it's badonk <laughs> it's at least a so, badonk. yeah oh no he's trapped them in a force field <laughs> They're in the disco spotlight. They've got to do the go-go dance to get out. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I liked your vision, Jacob. Now we so the aliens, are, the aliens have basically said, look, we didn't do anything wrong. Just let us go. Like, we didn't hurt anybody. And Picard's like, uh, you kidnapped me and held me hostage against my will. And they're like, well, who cares? That's not a problem. And he's like, oh, really? Let me show you what it's like to be trapped. Mm. So he's trapped them in this force field. And yeah. He's teaching them a lesson so that Turning they won't cables. do it. I like it. Sean, you thought that that cold open of Cheers had been used multiple times in the same is in, in over the course of the show. Yes. It's used. It's only used twice. Oh, OK. They're both in the first season and it's not even the same it they shot it twice. It's not even the same. <laughs> really? Envelope. Yes. Sam is wearing a completely different outfit in the oh, second I one. Oh, I never noticed that. Weird. And coach and coach is in one, but not in the other one. Like it's they shot it twice. So you know that guy Ken Levine, who they, whose podcast uh -huh, you listen uh -huh, to, sure. who's one of the writers of Cheers, one of the producers on Cheers. Yeah. They asked him about it once on Twitter, and he said, "Oh, we shot it once, but then we cut it for time." So then when we were doing this new episode, we were like, oh, that scene was funny. We'll put it back in. So they shot it again uh, for the second time that it was used. So it just seems like the same scene, but it's actually two different scenes That's using funny. the same script. I've never noticed that. I just assumed yeah. they just re, re rehashed it. That's the end of Corrections Corner for this Ooh. week, you guys. Well, yeah, he's yeah, telling yeah. them, you were singing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like you acted a straight up fool, Jean Luc. <laughs> you read the reports. Oh, um, here comes Beverly. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> How you doing, Doctor? <laughs> Does she know at this point? Yeah, yeah. She's like, <laughs> uh, but she feels like that there at some part of that really must have been him. So she's like, <laughs> uh, it's just enough to keep her. Keep her on the hook. <laughs> Engage. Drink, everybody. Wow. Yay. That was yeah, like a cute that. episode. I saw that they patterned it after a Twilight Zone episode. It right? seems Twilight Zone-y, right? Waking up in a strange room oh. and not like well, ooh, <laughs> yeah, the other people in there. Like that one where they're all toys. I think that's the episode. Yeah. It's like five characters trying to yeah. escape. It's like an something. astronaut and a Barbie doll and a G.I. Joe. And at the end, you find out they're all toys. Oh, yeah. It's what toy, It's Toy Story, but as a Twilight Zone episode oh. from 30 years earlier. Looks like we get some more shirtless Picard next episode. Oh, boy. You wait until next week. Oh, yeah. I thought I got excited because it like played a little snippet of the next one. Uh, we get on vacation. Real, he he goes on vacation next week, so it's a lot of leisure wear. You're going to see a lot of civilian. Oh, I can't clothes. wait. Also, the the pla uh, see through plastic top that the uh, the woman in the foreground is wearing. That's very yeah. Blade Runner. Nice, very sci-fi. 
sci-fi future teasing teasing next week's episode oh, yeah. mm-hmm. i guess we're done yeah well, the episode's Just, over that was good corrections corner there as well yeah. All right. I guess we're done. Thanks for Mm -hmm. listening, everybody. Uh, Please go to iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts to rate, review, and subscribe. You can email us at warpedthepodcast at gmail.com. You can follow us on Instagram at warpedthepodcast or or buy our merchandise at lunar underscore flare on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter at warpedtrek. Follow me at hostwarped. Follow Min to learn about our Dungeons and Dragons and Call of Cthulhu live streams and podcasts at Wet Maynard. And most importantly, go to patreon.com slash warped and become a member for additional episodes and bonus material. Maybe what we should do with those two episodes that we lost Mm -hmm. is redo them. And anybody who doesn't want to doesn't have to show up for this. It could just be like you and me and Min or something like that, Sean. Sure. And just put them up as bonus episodes. Mm -hmm. Put them up in the Patreon. Yeah. We could do that. Does anybody else have anything they would like to talk about? Now's your chance. I'm going to tape my own version just by myself. (laughs) (laughs) I I wish you would. Please do. That would be the real bonus content. (laughs) That would get that a regular stream. Yeah. I don't wouldn't get checks you're not going to oh, cash. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. bullshit. <laughs> mm-hmm. We can make it happen, though. Once we get back on the ranch. Yeah. Or just maybe, okay. like, just just Min and Aaron, I think. Oof. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that'd be, yeah. Good, that'd be a good combo. <laughs> we would just feed each other popcorn. To, we'll just throw down episode. a couple episodes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, Until oh, what flavor? Week, uh, my name is Matt. I'm Sean. I'm Jake. Aaron. Minwin. Hey. Thank you for listening and goodbye. Farewell.